Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This video is part 2 that is a continuation of application of Euclid's division lemma. If you want to see part 1, link in description box below. Now let's see this problem. Show that 1 and only 1 out of n, n plus 1 and n plus 2 is divisible by 3 where n is any positive integer. It says in any 3 consecutive numbers, say 4, let's take 4, 5 and 6. There is only one number out of these 3 numbers which is divisible by 3. In this case, 6 is the only one number that is divisible by 3. Now let's see what is given. B is given, B is 3, that is divisible by 3. R is your reminder, Q is your quotient. Now apply Euclid's division lemma. A is equal to B cube plus R, where R lies between 0 to less than B. In this case, where N is a positive integer, we can take N is equal to B is 3 Q plus R. In this case, R lies between 0 to less than B, that is 3. So, I can take the value from 0, 1 and 2. When R is 0, your N will be 3Q. When R is 1, your N will be 3Q plus 1. When R is 2, your N will be 3Q plus 2. From this, it is clear that only this number is divisible by 3. That is, only one number out of 3 numbers is divisible by 3. That's the proof. So now let's see this problem. For any positive integer N, prove that N cube minus N is divisible by 6. From question we know b is 6 that is divisible by 6. So your b is 6. From Euclid's division lemma we know a is equal to b cube plus r where r is greater than or equal to 0 but less than b. In this case a is equal to 6 cube plus r where r is greater than or equal to 0 but it has less than b in this form. So r can take the value 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5. Let's take a is equal to n. Let a is equal to n. For integer n, so we will take a is equal to n. It will be n is equal to 6 cube plus r. In the previous page, we got the equation n is equal to 6 cube plus r, where r can take the value 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5. Now when r is equal to 0, put r is equal to 0 in this equation, so n will be 6 cube. When r is equal to 1, n will be 6 cube plus 1. When r is equal to 2, n is 6 cube plus 2. When r is equal to 3, you will get n is equal to 6 cube plus 3. When r is equal to 4, n is equal to 6 cube plus 4. When r is equal to 5, n will be 6 cube plus 5. Since we have to prove n cube minus n is divisible by 6, Let's take p of n is equal to n cube minus n. Here n is common, so you can keep n outside. So n square minus 1, which is equal to n into a square minus b square. You can write as a plus b, a minus b. Now let's put the different values of n in this equation. Now we have equation p of n is equal to n into n plus 1 and n minus 1. 
This we can rearrange or write in an ascending order that is n minus 1, n, n plus 1. Now let's take this equation as 1. When n is equal to 6q, now p of n, that is p of 6q will be, replace n with 6q. So this will be 6q minus 1, 6q and 6q plus 1. So here 6, let's take this 6 here, then we are remain with 6q minus 1, q and 6q plus 1. So this you can take whole term as m, so this will be 6m. That is the multiple of 6. Clearly, it is divisible by 6. Now let's see when n is 6q plus 1. Replace n with 6q plus 1 in the equation 1. So this will be p of 6q plus 1. That is 6q plus 1 minus 1 will be 6q. So n is 6q plus 1. So 6q plus 1 plus 1 it will be 6q plus 2. So in this case 6 into q 6q plus 1. 6q plus 2. So this you can take as a m. So this is also multiple of 6. That is clearly it's divisible by 6. Now let's see when n is 6q plus 2. Replace n with 6q plus 2. So p of 6q plus 2 will be 6q plus 2 minus 1. That will be 6q plus 1 n is 6q plus 2. So 6q plus 2 plus 1 will be 6q plus 3. So 6q plus 1. Here 2 is common. So 2, 3 is a 6 plus 1. In this case 3 is common. 3, 2 is a 6 plus 1. So 3, 2 is a 6. So rest everything you can Write it inside. 3q plus 1. 2q plus 1. So this whole term you can take it as m. So this is a multiple of 6. And it is divisible by 6. Now let's see when n is 6q plus 3. Replace n with 6q plus 3. Same procedure. So p of 6q plus 3 will give you. 6, 6q plus 3 minus 1 will give you 6q plus 2. Then this will be 6q plus 3. 6q plus 3 plus 1 will be 6, 3, 6q plus 4. Now this will be, here 2 is common. So 2, 3 is a 6 plus 2, 1 is a, here 3 is common. So 3, 2 is a 6 plus 1. So you can write this as it is. So 3 to the 6. Rest everything you can keep it inside. Six Q plus 4. So this term you can take it as M. So 6 M. So this is also a multiple of 6. Hence it is divisible by 6. Let's see for N is equal to. 6q plus 4. So p of n, that is p of 6q plus 4, is 6q plus 4 minus 1 will give you 6q plus 3. So 6q plus 4. So 6q plus 4 plus 1 will give you 6q plus 5. So in this, 3 is common. So 3 to the 6 plus 1. In this case, you can take 2 as common, 2, 3 is a 6, plus 2, 2 is a 4, so 6, Q plus 5. So 3, 2 is a 6, and rest everything inside. So you can take this as M, so this is 6 M, which is nothing but the multiple of 6, hence divisible by 6. 
Now n is equal to 6 q plus 5. Let's put n is equal to 6 q plus 5. So p of 6 q plus 5 will give you 6 q plus 5 minus 1 will give you 6 q plus 4. So 6 q plus 5. 6 q plus 5 and plus 1 will give you 6 q plus 6. So in this case, we can write 6 q plus 4, 6 q plus 5, and here 6 is common, so q plus 1. So 6 you can write here, and then 6 q plus 4, 6 q plus 5, then q plus 1. So this one you can take it as m, so this will be 6m. In each case, we got the numbers are the multiple of 6. Hence, it is clear that n cube minus n is divisible by 6. Hence the proof. I hope you understood this topic. See you soon with the next topic. Till then, take care. Almighty bless.